The end of EVs and the future of e-fuels. Welcome to the future of e-fuels, a series where we explore the cutting-edge technologies shaping our world. Today, we're delving into Porsche's groundbreaking e-fuel technology. But before we begin, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content. Imagine a fuel that powers your car without any major modifications and significantly reduces carbon footprint. Sounds like something from a sci-fi movie, right? Well, Porsche is making it a reality. Porsche's e-fuel revolution. In this episode, we delve deeper into Porsche's e-fuel technology. The magic happens in Chile, where Porsche, in collaboration with Siemens Energy and other partners, has set up a pioneering plant. Here, they harness the region's strong winds to produce green hydrogen via electrolysis. This hydrogen is then combined with CO2 captured directly from the air. The result? A synthetic methanol gasoline that burns like traditional fuels but with significantly lower emissions. Porsche aims to produce 550 million liters of this e-fuel by 2026, revolutionizing the way we think about sustainable transportation. Renewable e-fuels, the core of green hydrogen. The process of renewable electrolysis is key to producing green hydrogen, the core component of e-fuels. This process uses renewable energy, like wind and solar power, to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. It's a clean, sustainable method that emits no greenhouse gases. Porsche's use of this technology in Chile, leveraging the region's abundant wind energy, demonstrates a viable path to large-scale, environmentally friendly fuel production. Shades of hydrogen, gray, blue, and green. Hydrogen comes in different shades based on its production method. Gray hydrogen is produced from natural gas, releasing significant CO2. Blue hydrogen also originates from natural gas, but the CO2 is captured and stored, reducing its environmental impact. Green hydrogen, like what Porsche uses, is the cleanest form, produced using renewable energy to split water, leaving no carbon footprint. This distinction is crucial in assessing the environmental viability of hydrogen-based fuels. Unveiling the environmental cost of EVs. Electric vehicles are often seen as a clean alternative. However, they carry hidden environmental costs. For example, the mining of cobalt and lithium for batteries poses significant ecological and human challenges. Furthermore, the production of these batteries, as well as the development of extensive charging infrastructure, adds to the environmental burden. We'll explore these aspects, offering a comprehensive view of EV's environmental impact. Navigating EV Challenges EVs face practical hurdles, long charging times, infrastructure challenges, and sensitivity to weather conditions. These factors can affect the convenience and reliability of EVs. Given the challenges EVs face, only time will tell what impact, adoption, and the user experience of electric vehicles will be. Inside Porsche's e-fuel plant in Chile, Porsche's state-of-the-art e-fuel plant in Chile, utilizing the region's exceptional wind, hydro, and solar resources, the plant is a model of innovation in fuel production. This facility symbolizes a significant step towards sustainable fuel production, with ambitious goals for the future. Tackling nitrogen oxides emissions. Nitrogen oxides, NOx, are harmful pollutants from vehicles. Porsche's e-fuels offer a solution by significantly reducing NOx emissions. This segment examines the science behind this reduction and the broader implications for air quality and public health. The science of reducing NOx emissions. In so doing, we're diving into the science behind reducing nitrogen oxides or NOx emissions. NOx emissions are a major environmental concern contributing to air pollution and respiratory issues. They're primarily produced by vehicles through the combustion of fossil fuels. The introduction of e-fuels, like those developed by Porsche, can play a significant role in reducing these harmful emissions. How does it work? The key lies in the cleaner combustion process of e-fuels. Unlike conventional fuels, e-fuels can be engineered to burn more efficiently and cleanly. This means that the combustion process can be optimized to produce fewer pollutants, including NOx. Additionally, e-fuels, being synthetic, can be designed to have ideal properties for combustion, such as optimal oxygen content and a high octane number. This leads to a more complete and cleaner burning process, reducing the formation of NOx in the engine. Furthermore, the existing technologies in modern vehicles, like selective catalytic reduction, SCR, and exhaust gas recirculation, EGR, become more effective when used with e-fuels. These technologies are designed to reduce NOx emissions, and their efficiency can be enhanced when the fuel itself is cleaner and produces fewer pollutants. Lastly, the very process of creating e-fuels, 
which involves capturing and utilizing CO2 from the atmosphere, contributes to a more sustainable and environmentally friendly cycle. By reducing reliance on fossil fuels and improving the efficiency of combustion engines, e-fuels present a promising path towards significant reductions in NOx emissions. In summary, the reduction of NOx emissions with e-fuels is a combination of cleaner combustion, enhanced vehicle technologies, and a sustainable production cycle. This holistic approach not only mitigates the environmental impact of transportation, but also aligns with global efforts to improve air quality and combat climate change. The versatility of e-fuels. One of the most compelling aspects of e-fuels is their compatibility with existing ICE vehicles without any modifications. This means a huge potential for reducing emissions without needing to replace the current vehicle fleet. This compatibility positions e-fuels as a practical bridge towards more sustainable transportation. The economics of e-fuels explored. While e-fuels are promising, their current production costs are higher than traditional fuels. This segment explores the economics of e-fuels, production costs, potential market pricing, and the factors that could influence their future affordability and accessibility. Porsche's global partnerships and vision. Porsche's journey in developing e-fuels isn't solitary. By partnering with global leaders in energy and technology like Siemens, Porsche is pushing the boundaries of what's possible. What are these collaborations and what do they mean for the future of automotive fuels and Porsche's commitment to sustainability? What's next for e-fuels? As we conclude, we reflect on the potential and challenges of e-fuels. How will they integrate into our current energy mix? What role will they play in the future of transportation? Join us next time as we question and envision a future where sustainable fuels coexist with evolving automotive technologies. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more informative and engaging content. And as always, thanks for watching.